We're going back to the moon, and this is why. The moon is a treasure trove of science. It holds opportunities for us to make discoveries about our home planet, about our sun, and about our solar system. The United States is going back to the moon. And if all goes well, humans will put feet on the lunar surface after over 50 years. And NASA's Artemis mission is laying the groundwork to take a person of color and a woman to the Earth's only natural satellite. The Artemis Accords are a set of agreements between the US and the partner nations on how they will work together on and around the moon. This treaty, which is not legally binding, outlines the principles for cooperation in space exploration and the use of the moon, Mars, comets and asteroids for peaceful purposes. NASA, in collaboration with the US Department of State, established the Artemis Accords in 2020. The Accords are grounded in the United Nations Outer Space Treaty of 1967. Given that multiple countries and private companies are actively involved in lunar missions, the Accord lays out a set of shared principles to govern civil exploration and the use of outer space. The Accords are agreements that reinforce the commitment to international space treaties and agreements such as the Registration Convention and the Rescue and Return Agreement. The principles include conducting all activities in space peacefully and with full transparency. This includes sharing findings, registering space objects and releasing scientific data. The Accord calls for mindful use of resources during space exploration and development. NASA and its partners must plan to mitigate orbital debris and agree on the efficient disposal of spacecraft after a mission. By becoming a signatory, India can collaborate with others, including the United States, in future moon missions. This collaboration enables the sharing of knowledge and expertise, contributing to the advancement of scientific research, technological development, and the expansion of humanity's presence in space. Till date, nearly 30 countries have signed the accords since it began in 2020, including Australia, Canada, Japan, Luxembourg, Italy, the United Kingdom, and the United Arab Emirates. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views, and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and LinkedIn. She'll soon be quoted on the front page. Business Standard